Hey everybody, it's me Trevor, and welcome to this video. Um, today's video topic is going to be on FE, and why it's both a good thing and a bad thing, like a pro and a con. Um, yeah, so, thank you for clicking on this video, first off, and, yeah, so, if you don't know what FE is, FE is also called extroverted feeling, and it basically means that you put off your feelings towards others, but you also absorb feelings really easily, so it's almost like you're taking in other people's emotions and showing them off in a way, and processing them or showing them off in a way that makes them but is the concept in personality theory in terms of not all personal personality theory because there are a bunch of different theories that go into personality and I don't, I don't think that one that one specifically is correct. So I feel like they all have a different measure of the human consciousness and psyche. So yeah, um, but this this would fall under the sociotics MBTI theories of personality. FE um, is very confusing because to me I okay so I, 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 I've grown up with um, an introverted sensing parent. I think it's I think he's actually an ISFJ maybe. He might even he might be that one, I don't know. But he got, um, he was, he was an alcoholic as a father for 10 years or so. Um, so, being an FE user, and so, was basically like being an empath. So, basically, you're just a soak, you're, you're basically a sponge that soaks up other people's emotions. And when you're in a household where you're a child and your dad's an alcoholic and your mom's at work most days and that's not a great situation to be in, you know? Um, the school situation, you know, being an I was basically an outcast throughout school. Um, it wasn't fun, I guess you call it. Fun is not what it was, but, um, I think it's similar for a lot of people that I don't know. Whatever. Um. So. What? So. Why? Why is being FE confusing in an alcoholic, especially an alcoholic home growing up? Or even not growing up, just kind of like. Being like older, you know? Whatever. Like being any age with alcoholic in your life. Um. I can only vouch for my experiences for the age I went, I grew up with it, so around 8, 7, 8 to like 16, 17, and um, for me personally, it was hard because I would constantly, or my dad would constantly switch between like, you know, he promised me one thing and then not fulfill it or tell me that I made it up or that I'm lying about it um, later on around the time frame it was supposed to happen his his mindset would constantly change and shift and he just was never there mentally he was having me wake him up to get my brother from school to get my mom from work and it was I was the parent basically in some ways and he wouldn't feed us sometimes even he made my mom feed us after she has worked for ten hours, and it was just not a good a good thing. Um, but all left the thing between him caring about like you know not caring about us, but like you know make giving us food and making sure that we felt safe in some ways was good. But then being flipped back over to to not knowing what we did was wrong, or to him just yelling at us because we 
couldn't it, um, solve the problem correctly after the second try of him showing us once, um, or me once, uh, you know, he would, it got to the point where he, well, my arm locked up, my left elbow locked up, and he just was so out of there of me doing my homework that he didn't care if my arm was locked up, even though it wasn't my writing arm, it was still freaking me out as like a 12 year old. So, my mind was, was, was consciously more, more focused on the elbow being locked up than my homework at the time, so it's not like, you know, it's hard, it was hard, um, having your views constantly shared from one side to the other, back and forth, back and forth, like a tennis ball on a, on a, on a, on a, on a like a tennis ball in a tennis match. There we go, Trevor. Good job. Um, <laughs> but, yeah. Um, I mean, I do enjoy... I do like to be able to read people. To be able to feel people's emotions in a way. To be able to know what people are feeling. And be able to see, see in, like, in their experiences. Like, in real life or whatever be able to see like if I'm if they're if they're weirded up by me if, if they're mad about something if they're upset about something if they're whatever you know whatever the situation might be towards me or towards anything in the external world it's just it's it's a nice thing to be able to, to read them be able to, to to help in some ways to be able to offer assistance and hopefully have them talk to talk to me and you know um I think that another big issue is that, especially since it's his birthday today, my mom, my mom wants me and him to get along, but I don't want to because of all the crap he put us through, and, and you know, it just, it's, it wasn't a fun time frame for that long, the courts got involved too, um, the police got involved a bunch of times, uh, yeah, it, it wasn't, uh, it wasn't fun, but because of that, I don't like talking to him, I don't like relying on him, he wants me to put trust in him and faith in him, and I, I don't know, it's, my mom wants me to, too, or she wants me to at least tell him happy birthday or to whatever, and it's not that I don't, I don't want to, because I don't think he's there for me in a sense, you know? After all the crap he put us through, and after all the abuse, and all the years of drinking, and he actually lost all his memory from that time frame, so... <sighs> yeah. But... Because, it just, it's frustrating, because... I don't want to make my mom upset, because I love her. But I also don't want, I also don't want to wish my dad a happy birthday, because I don't like him. And she wants me to like him, and I don't want to like him, because I don't remember most of me most memories from my past. I remember the, the absolute worst. And some good memories, and the rest are in like this cloudy, foggy haze of a cloud. Um, yeah. So, Effie is also confusing because one second I'll be arguing with, with someone and I'll be like, oh, like, I don't, I don't know, like, oh, like, I'm not this person, right? Or, like, if someone were to, were to repeat something to me over and over again, ask me questions over and over again, their urgency is going to give me anxiety because they're trying to get me to ask the question and they're asking me 40 times, and I'm just like, dude, can you give me a second to just think internally for a second? Like, you're giving me a panic attack right now, in a sense, you know? And I don't want to stress and juice panic attack because you're asking me a question that, could, that doesn't need to be answered right now and I need to think about it, you know? It's just very, um, confusing in a sense. And I guess one more thing that's confusing about it is that, um, 
like, if I'm watching a YouTube video about, like, someone on, like, in med school or, like, baker or YouTuber or whatever, I'll be watching them and I'll pick up on their emotions of happiness and joy for their job and what, and what they do and I will, uh, and I will think, oh, like, that looks, like, I could do that, and it makes me feel, or, no, actually, no, it doesn't give me that, it makes me feel the urge to look stuff up and to research it and to, and I get joy out of researching it, so I'm like, oh, this interests me, maybe I should do this, and I can't tell that it's the other person's emotion being put on me, and I can't tell, draw the line sometimes, it's hard to be able to pick up, to be able to see where that line is and not cross it or know that that line exists and know that I'm on this side and they're on that side and I don't need to be pulled on that side just because you know and yeah um but this is just some of my grades of FE because FE is is a great it's a good function I like it it's a great um yeah it's a good function but all functions have their goods and their bads, you know? And, uh, I guess... I don't know what, what it's like to not have FE in a sense, so... If I were to give it something else, or to learn something else, I don't think I could. You know? I wouldn't know what it was, or... You know? And neither would anyone else, and that's kind of... Funny, I guess shocking because we it is and then also has that that kind of relates to quantum mechanics and quantum theory I mean because with quantum theory apparently with the Schrod with Schrodinger's cat um, experiment it was basically detailing out that you that there was either one scenario that ended up happening either the cat was dead because the poison got it, we really, really ate the poison, or the cat was alive inside the box, and when you took up the up the lid, it was alive. But the only way the only way to be able to tell is by opening the box and seeing if the cat is alive or dead. And so, in a sense, we can't see it from other people's point of view. In some ways, some people can. I think a lot of FE users can, and FI users, F users in general, F doms definitely can, um, easier, but, it just, it's funny how this, how the universe kind of connects to everything, you know, but all the different laws and theories connect, connect, um, to each other in one giant mess of a spider web, in a sense, but I'm gonna go, tell me what you guys liked, what you guys thought about this in the comments, are you guys an FE user, an FI user, um, what do you guys think, um, do you guys, I don't know. If you guys liked this video and you want to see more, um, click subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. I will stop rambling. And have a great day, night, weekend, week, whatever, whatever time frame it you want to put towards it. I will see you guys next time and goodbye. Thank you for watching this video.